Welcome back, everybody, to another Glios toy review. It's been a minute since we've done a Glios toy review. In fact, the last one we had was No Nell Drop, and that was Wave 100. Now we're on 101. It's looking fresh. It's looking fire. There's some Cthulhu stuff in here, which brought me back into it a little bit because I was not missing those drops. I already missed some of the Zolbeast drops. Uh, I was very disappointed in that. Some of these guys look incredible. Here's some examples. I missed the O'Neill one of this, and I was very sad because some of these guys look super, super dope. Can't wait to see what kind of more stuff they get creative with with these designs. I think they look really cool. I love the textures. We're going to see some of them today, too, so let's get started in opening up Wave 101 really quickly and briefly. I know I was supposed to do the most recent Cappy drop. We had the Fresh and Fire Brine Lords that came through. These guys were really, really dope. I haven't even opened yet. That's how behind I got on stuff. We even had a really, really fire Geodraxus drop. Love this guy. In fact, I got, wow, just dropping him. I got multiple of him. He is really cool too. Just a quick shout out for, you know, a couple of the drops that I should have covered, but just didn't get a chance to. Things got real crazy around here. So everything kind of had to be put on a little pause, but now we can get into some Onel stuff again. I miss those Zool Beast things. Real sad about that. Those guys were awesome. Uh, even God Beast. God Beast had one of those figures up on his store too. And I, man, I don't know how many they made, but they sold out of those things real fast, it seemed like. We got our newspaper stacked, wrapped, O'Neill drop. Again, we got a bunch. I went to town. I mean, we had some really, really cool stuff in this one. Oh, I'm already seeing our little stowaway right here. Oh my, our little cray cray looking awesome. All right, we're gonna have to get him out. Let's get sorted a little bit here. Let's get this newspaper out of the freaking way. So let's see what we got here. We got a bunch of the brand new Cthulhu, Rylan, Kydrothi, Zulbeast. Are they Zoloids? Zoloids. We got a new skeleton. Super, super stoked about that armivores oh my gosh super super cool uh we even got a wervlern wervlern armivore guy and you know one of my favorites was the fish dude we got some little matchups with god beast stuff and this new crazy looking newfangled like minotaur senator whatever horse creature dude he's going to be excited to go through and look at too that's also one of those mixes with the god beast stuff as well lots of god beast parts in all of these so where do we want to where do we want to kind of start well let's look at our little cool stowaway cray let's just take him out and check out what we're dealing with here he looks very very sick i love that really cool design maybe uh is this a colorway we're gonna see in the next drop potentially potentially i don't see his name anywhere on the list might have to do some more research but i don't see it as of right now very cool though just kind of like a blank no like detail or painting on him He's just that nice translucent. Not complaining. All right, what else we got here? We got a couple extra heads. Oh, I don't know if these came with one of my other ones, but we did get like the monkey head and we did get the nice cat head or panther head, I guess, for the armivores. Very, very nice. I really like this monkey head. He looks pretty sharp in that nice little silver, dark gray. I did get a couple extra connector bits and joint parts just for extra building. You know, I always try to grab a couple here and there because you never know what you're going to use them for. Got one of the little bots. Not too bad. Then we've got our Rylan Cray booth. Our little green, dark green and red Cthulhu looking cray cray. He is looking awesome. That is really nice. Gotta love it. Gotta love the nice paint on this one. Uh, big fan of the Cthulhu aspects to this drop. They got the colors right quite a bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit more light shining in here on some of these guys. We're just getting a little bit dark. There we go. That's a little bit better. He is looking fresh though, very fresh, very classic Cthulhu greens, digging that. Oh, that's right, we had the crazy looking Cray. We're gonna open up him next. I might have to look up how I'm supposed to, well, no, it looks like they got it all right here. Let me dump out 
All right, we're gonna move some of these, some of these bags a little bit, just for now, just for now. Get some of the area clear so we can focus on what we need to build with some of these guys. There is some building involved with this one. So I think it's called the Arachnoid Cray, uh, something like that. We're using Godby's parts to really pop this guy in together to make this kind of crazy creature. It does come with our regular joint, so if you just want to make the regular cray, you could. But I mean, since we got the pieces, we gotta we gotta clip these in here and check out what he's gonna look like, right? He's gonna look pretty sick. Now, which ones were the front legs and which ones were the back legs? That's what I'm wondering. I feel like I still have this wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he looks crazy like this though. He kind of looks just super wild, but that's kind of how the attachment's supposed to look. And then obviously he's supposed to be kind of standing more upright facing outwards. So maybe I did get this backwards again. I mean, you can combine and do whatever you want with these God Beast parts. Uh, obviously you could even add more, which I might even maybe like add to put extensions because I kind of like these as the front claws, even though maybe they're not supposed to go like that. I mean, kind of wild, kind of cool. He'll stand just like on four legs instead of just the regular Cray 2. So pretty sick, pretty cool. I like the nice silver gray aspects of this guy too, the metallic-y parts of him. Uh, they look sharp. They look sharp in this one, especially with that red highlights. Let's do an armivore next now that we got our little four-legged Cray out of the way. Where's our little opening on this dude? We gotta open up this guy. So you can see we do have the nice classic like Robo Armivore heads in here with this one. Uh, let's see, do we get the regular one too? Oh, we actually do. So we do get the Wolf Armivore head. Very nice, glad about that. That's awesome. Oh, we got a piece that's broken on this one. That's not good. What broke off? Rut row. Oh, he's loose. Okay, we got some looseness going on here. Was it from this? Something broke off this little tiny piece. I'm not sure what it's from. The head looks fine. I don't know. Maybe it's just a scrap piece from somewhere else, but here we go. The little Athrodrac Armivore looking fresh, looking fire. I mean, he's got some glisten to him. He's got some nice, nice high contrast sharpness to him with this metallic-y stuff going on. I mean, come on, that looks amazing. We got the mouth open and closed, you name it. Uh, the gun looked like it was in fine shape. Tried to look what was going on there, but I'm not sure. His legs are super loose in this one though. Like this guy could just like flip flop around quite a bit, quite easily. Not too big of a deal. I mean, these guys for me are just going to be sitting on my shelf in the nice armivore collection, getting it padded out, filled out. Gonna need again, more shelf space for all these guys, man. Cause they just look freaking awesome. I gotta display them. So proud of the collection with these guys too. Still don't know what this piece is from. Hopefully it's nothing important. Well, since we're on armivores, let's get our other one out here, our wyvern. Again, this one we saw with the cool like battle. What was it? Battle beast? Battle beast representation over here. Back from a few drops ago, we had those crazy awesome vibrant colors, yellows and reds, bright yellows and reds. And then what 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 would we have? What we had? Oh yeah, we had the purple purple. But we had this guy in a bright yellow last time. He looked freaking amazing. And now we get him in this nice high quality shine with some wings. Ooh, the wings look like they're, ooh, they're fitting nicely today. Did they redesign these a little bit? Did they make some tweaks so they sit better? I almost feel like they did. Let's go. Absolutely love the head design on him. He's so, so cool. Uh, we do get to the other leg parts. So you can swap around the leg parts for the regular armivore. They use the Kabutomushi stuff from God Beast on his design. I love it though. It's a good little, nice little change up. We do also get the Armivore head in a nice silver, very, very sharp, like that one better than the darker version. Uh, a nice gun, we gotta add that in. Onel needs to adopt some of the adventure kit stuff. We need to start getting, you know, our Armivores with swords and backpacks and belts and all sorts of other accessories. I mean, Onel needs to get in on that. I don't know, maybe they're in talks, maybe they got something going, but come on, bring us the adventure kits. It's gonna look freaking sick with these guys. Ooh, like, can you imagine like getting some of these nice little Brian Lord accessories going with these guys? Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. They're going in together somehow. Looks incredible though. Let me just do a quick, yes, they, okay. So I don't know if I just don't recognize these wings or if I've never had them before, but they were different from the last Wervern that we got. We've got these wings on him. Sometimes these have a struggle fit into the back joint. I don't know, they pop out easily for me, 
but these fit quite nicely and they look fantastic. Really, really sharp, good difference. I like these over the curved ones down. These poppy ones out look really, really nice with the Wyvern. All right, so I think it is skeleton time because if you don't remember, this is how it all started for me uh, with my addiction to Glyos. It all started with seeing these guys, the skeletons from Onel Designs. It was the, one of the, the first review I did was, no, it wasn't actually, it was off the Bounty Hunters, off the Mandalorian, but the second review and the first figure I did get was a skeleton. Uh, these guys are just, phenomenal they're awesome i also have pretty much all of them i'm only missing a couple from the entire history of onel uh, for the skeletons i think i'm only missing like four or five so we haven't had these in a drop in a while um you could build them up a little bit but the official skeletons we haven't had them in a drop in a minute so it was really cool to see these guys again you can see they come with tons and tons of accessories We've got different headpieces. We've got the Faden head, so you can make your Fadens out of this kit if you so prefer the Fadens over the skeletons. These little exo suits and armors look amazing. We even get a little extra one actually, which is pretty dope. The Xeno glows, yes, Xeno glows. Obviously, we've got glow in the dark stuff here. We get double axes. We gotta plug this one in to his hand, and then maybe we can even throw a light up on him, kind of show off how he glows but he looks awesome. He looks freaking sick. I love it. Now, I believe they've already got a couple of the glow in the darks. Let me just look behind me here. So they do have other ones of the glow in the darks. I would say they're more of this color glow in the dark. Why is he in this stance? Okay, uh, I can't pull him off my shelf right now because everything will fall over. But instead of the lighter glow in the dark thing, uh, we've got this nice green glow in the dark aspect vibe to it. In fact, let me just grab that. You can kind of check it out a little bit. Maybe I'll turn off a couple lights here. All right, there we go. There's a nice shine on him. You can see how he looks all glowed up a bit. He looks pretty darn sick. Love the skeletons. Glad we're getting more of them back in the drops. Absolutely love to see what they're going to do next with these guys. It's going to be freaking awesome. So many extra parts. I forgot about that. It's so great. Well, you know, we're going to save our Cthulhu guys for the end. So now we got to look at this dude right here. This is the, let me see if I can get this right. Esquarian, Esquarian, uh, Centurion, Esquarian, Centurion. Ah, it, it's just an amalgamation of so many different things. Like, it's crazy. Let's open it up and check out everything that you get inside of this pack. Now, I do know these are sold out. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff is. Uh, but let's just check out what we got in here. Hopefully, he's easy to build up from memory because uh, I don't have reference in front of me here. I didn't know you got this Cthulhu head in this pack, and that is freaking awesome. I absolutely love that. I am so happy for that. This is a dope, dope looking metallic head, a version of him. Uh, not the one that's pictured. So we are going to kind of build him up as he was pictured with this head right here. This thing looks amazing. It's kind of almost got this like Anubis vibes. If you look at it from the right angle, it looks really incredible. I absolutely love how like tall, but kind of more bulky it is. I think it'll look great on armivores even, uh, but let's, let's see if we can figure out how we're doing this here. There's so many pieces. I mean, let's just see here. We got leg joints up the wazoo. Oh boy, I might need to figure out how this is supposed to go. This, this is like supposed to be like a bow and arrow, I think. So this will go on the chest, but how do we have the rest of this attached is my question. Is it like this? Something like this? Is this what the attachment goes into? Oh boy, how do we do this here? Oh, we get a wall-eyed dude again too. Our little whale friendly man. That's what he reminds me of, so that's what I'm just calling him. Uh, we do also get Kabuto Mushi stuff too. You see, we got one of these dudes, one of the nemesis heads. Uh, that can be used as a really nice joint piece too, a lot of the time. It's really kind of a clever piece to use for a lot of different things. Here's another arm with like a dagger, okay. Or no, is it this way? And then this is like, oh shoot, man. I don't know how this goes. And then it comes with wings too. The classic like angel wings, which I love. I've only got like one other pair in my collection of these wings and they always look super sweet. So I'm really happy that we have more of these now. That is awesome. We got to really figure out how this is working though. All right, so let's see. It almost feels like this. Shoot, man. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I gotta, I gotta stop rolling and 
figure out what this is. So I'm going to do a weird jump cut here to the Cthulhu, but back over to these guys when I'm done. We'll see how it all pans out in the editing room. Uh, let's, oh, we forgot about this. I'll just mention this too really quick. We also get this guy. Love these guys too. And a normal head as well. One of the normal little dudes that we saw from the last drop. Okay, we'll get back to you. Okay, here he is. Here's our centurion. He looks freaking awesome. Look at this thing. He's got hooves going on on his feet. He stands up quite nicely. He looks really menacing, really, really dope. I love the little bow and arrow and the cannon. It's just such a nice, <laughs> nice little mix of like uh, old and new. We want to go sci-fi or you want to go old school. I'll kill you either way. I love the head on this guy too. He looks so great, especially with the wings, but such a unique and cool looking creative Glios horse, crazy scimitar creature, centurion. It just looks super cool and creative. I mean, you can think about all the ways you can add to this, change it around, maybe make it even more bulkier or pimp it out a little bit more. But even on its own, it was such a nice little pickup figure. So many extra parts, as I already showed, you get all those extra heads and stuff too. All the different God Beast parts, well worth it in my opinion. He looks really, really nice. Very, very cool addition to the little lineup. And I love the head. But now we can look at the crazy, crazy Zuloid Kydrothian Rylean Cthulhu Zuloid craziness. I mean, he just, I can't wait to get a really good look at this guy because ever since these released, these Cthulhu heads, I'm just, I was just waiting for this, this color to drop basically. Just give me the classic Cthulhu green. I mean, we got spoiled. We got a ton of really great colors. In fact, we already got like that nice translucent green, which I was super stoked with, but I wanted both. I'm, a, I'm greedy that way when it comes to Lovecraft stuff, you name it. I mean, come on, I wanted it all. And now we get to check out these Zoloid things. Now, from what I understand, this was one of the last projects that Mike worked on was the Zoloids and everybody kind of around him that knew him came alongside him. Um, to kind of see that this project came to fruition after he passed. So it's a really kind of just great, you know, look at the community and how much they care for the people in their community and the other creators that they would do this for him and make sure they got his creation out there. I am in love with these head designs. They look absolutely phenomenal. We got like this brain alien, one eye or two eye, and they both look incredible. I mean, the detail on these are just phenomenal then we also have like again another like robotic alien and look at all those details going into it all of that i love this head like this is crazy cool i man i don't i didn't even remember seeing this one a lot and it's so neat that's such a crazy that looks like something out of doom honestly it looks more like demonic over alien but i love it it's great this one too it's kind of got like a weird mix of demonic and like alien but it's amazing he's even got turnable eyes oh my gosh that's awesome and he could stuff something in his mouth he's almost got that dune sandworm popcorn bucket thing going on there i'm just saying and the back of the head nothing too crazy there but you can use it a number of different ways i'm sure this is just so cool though great great detail on all these faces it's just phenomenal now we have claws on our guy but he does come with like these really really textured hand fists these look so nice i love the textures on these guys he even has like a really cool gun like a tri gun thing that almost goes into like a blended more natural kind of straight on the skin type machine laser pistol thing i don't know it's crazy it's really cool it kind of just like looks like it's going to be integrated into the the arm or something like that a couple extra little connector points we do get wings again these are like the ones that we got with our little wyvern which is sweet because i definitely prefer these and then we have the figure itself which let's straighten out his legs a little bit and we'll get a nice look at everything on this guy. I mean, first off, the head, the Cthulhu head, the Rylan Zuloid is looking fire, but we are familiar with it now. We've seen it a few times in a few different drops. I love the quality. It looks ridiculously good in this paint. And now we can just take some admiration points in on the Zuloid figure itself. I love, love these like bicep areas. They look so, so incredible. The back 
is just insane. You've got like this whole spine element going on here, rib cages, so many cracks, details, crevices on the shoulders. They really, really stand out. I am in love with the amount of textures that have been going into Goliath lately. I love it. Keep coming with it. It's so great. I mean, even in the thighs, we've got this crazy loop thing here. And it's so, so nice. I mean, the hips, the ribs, the... Oh, it's so cool. I'm so disappointed that I missed out on the other Zuloid drops because some of them were absolutely ridiculous looking. Uh, real bummed about that, but what can you do? You can't get them all. There's just so many Glios right now. So uh, if you're in my boat, leave me a comment below. If you're in my boat where you just want to get it all, but you just can't get it all, give me some sympathy on that one because I know we've all been there with certain Glios. It's just, it's so hard to keep up with everything. I'm getting to that point. He's got these nice little almost uh, got beastie type feet a little bit. He's got a little bit of that going, but it's so, so cool. He looks phenomenal. Let's add the wings on really quick. Let's complete the look. There we go. Now we've got the completed Cthulhu look. He's got the wings. He's got all the niceness going. Really, really fire. I am so impressed with this guy. He looks so phenomenal. Let's just go ahead and switch out heads a little bit. I really want to see how this guy's head looks on him because this one looks like it'd be sweet look at that straight demon bro straight demon oh it's so sick uh let's do we'll do double eye on the alien there we go another really cool one ah oh, all these heads are impressive they all look phenomenal they all look just super super nice yeah let's pop off a wrist let's put on the cannon so we can see how that looks really quick there we go so he's got a little cannon arm he can kind of stretch out go kabang kabang not too crazy. I might be attaching this a little bit weird. There might be a better way to attach it, but you get the idea. It fits in with the Zoloid body type and everything. It looks great. Popping the arm back on though, because who doesn't want to keep claws on their figures? Look at that. We can get these great looking like Bigfoot poses with them. Like, oh, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just walking here. A little Cthulhu walking, cryptoid walking. Absolutely phenomenal though. Love it. So you know me, I, I, I knew this one was gonna sell out. I had to go back after things settled down in the store, grab myself a couple more. Uh, so I didn't miss out on the opportunity. I know I'm gonna love these guys and I would love to build them up. Maybe even make a beefier version of them would be really, really cool. Those are my plans for it. We'll see how that goes. I know last time my build video with the last wave went, uh, <laughs> never got released. I actually did film it, filmed like two hour video of a bunch of build stuff and uh, never got it edited. It just kind of didn't turn out that great. I wasn't super happy with it or impressed with it. So it kind of just, it was a wash video. Oh, well. So here they are again. Everything that we looked at today from wave 101, Centurion, Skeleton, Cthulhu, Rylaean, our armivore critters. They all look phenomenal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little review. They did a great job on this wave. Can't wait to see what is next, especially with these Zuloids. They are fantastic. Do not want to miss any more of those drops. Go check out uh, Onel's site. Go support them. I don't know what's left in the store currently, but make sure to do a couple pickups if you see anything that you like. And make sure to go follow them on socials and whatnot so you don't miss when they're coming out with new drops. Stay tuned for more videos coming really soon. I would like to do maybe another build video or something here in the future. And if there's any interest in the Gundam or anything like that, Hey, like, I mean, come on, I'm building over here. I'm doing lots of building. Let me know if there's interest in any Gundam stuff. All right, guys, have a great one. We will talk to you in the next video.